Welcome to Baugan Inglés 4.0, the radio show with Kyle Miller. Following class by class, step by step, the material of Baugan Inglés 4.0 on Aprende Inglés TV. Clase 31. Class 31. Let's go! Beginner. All right, welcome. Welcome back to Class 31. Welcome to Baugan Inglés 4.0. Here we are for today, starting off with Class 31, empezando con un repaso, starting with a review of what we saw in the last class. We were practicing with the, with the idea to hold and to carry, to hold and to carry, and yesterday I said to hold is essentially to, bueno, tener algo en mano, okay? Um, pero to carry is llevar algo en brazos. We can carry a child. We can carry books. Casi como cargar. When we have a heavy load, when we have many things we are carrying. But to hold is, well, I'm holding some papers. I'm holding my pen, okay? Cuando se trata de tener un objeto en mano, solemos emplear el verbo hold, okay? Y como ayer, bueno, vamos a practicar con un poco de traducción. Let's practice with some translation. Are you ready? Listo? Are you ready? Okay. Translation, let's go. Translation. Está sujetando el bolígrafo. She's holding the pen. Eso es. Fitz lleva un perro. Oh, sí, es, es verdad. Fitz is holding a dog. Está sujetando un libro. He's holding a book. He's holding a book. Estoy cargando varios libros. I'm carrying several books. Alberto está sujetando una grapadora. Alberto's holding a stapler. That was our word of the day yesterday. Nuestra palabra del día de ayer. A stapler. One stapler, two staplers. No estoy diciendo a, a stapler. No, no. Stapler. Eso es. Leila está sujetando un lápiz. Leila is holding a pencil. Richard está sujetando un bolígrafo. Richard is holding a pen. Se puede decir Richard's holding a pen. David está sujetando una regla. David is holding a ruler. Eso es, David's holding a ruler. En voz alta, siempre en voz alta en casa. Ella lleva un cuaderno. She's holding a notebook. She's holding a notebook. Natasha lleva un gato. Natasha is carrying a cat. Carly lleva una caja. Carly is carrying a box. Eso es. Carly is carrying a box. Very good. Muy bien. Okay. Después de eso, ayer hemos visto... Um, y también podemos practicar eso con un poco de traducción, yo creo, ¿no? Es más divertido así. Podemos practicar con la idea de um, asking questions... Preguntando preguntas. En inglés, lo, en inglés, preguntamos preguntas. We ask questions in English. ¿Ok? Ok. Translation. Translation. Time now for a little translation. Yes, Richard está haciendo una pregunta a Fitz. Richard is asking Fitz a question. Está haciéndole una pregunta en inglés. He's asking him a question in English. He's asking him. Cerrando la boca con M. Him. No estoy diciendo him. No, no. Him. Him. A question in English. Está haciéndole una pregunta en la oficina. He's asking him a question in the office. Me está haciendo una pregunta por teléfono. He's asking me a question on the telephone. On the telephone. That's right. Ella está haciéndole una pregunta en la oficina. She's asking her. 
ella está haciéndole a ella. Bueno, she's asking her a question in the office. Hannah está haciendo una pregunta a Carly. Hannah is asking Carly a question. Está haciéndole una pregunta en inglés. She's asking her a question in English. She's not asking her a question in Spanish. No, no, no. She's asking her a question in English. She's asking her a question in English. That's right. Está haciéndole una pregunta en inglés. She's asking her a question. Question. No es cuestión. Question. Chin, chin. Question. In English. Very good. Word of the day. Yes, it is time for our word of the day, ladies and gentlemen. Nuestro palabra del día. Azulejo. Azulejo. Tile. Tile. Mmm. There are many tiles. Hay muchos azulejos aquí. Tiles. There are many tiles here. There are tiles on the floor. There are tiles on the walls. Es muy, muy común en España. It's very common in Spain to have tiles. In Canada, tiles are expensive. Muy caros. Tiles are very expensive in Canada. Most people don't have tile floors because tiles are very expensive in Canada. In Spain, you have a lot of tiles, and they're very beautiful. I love the Andalusian tiles that you see in Granada, in Seville. They're very beautiful. I like the tiles. It's something that is very typical Spanish, I think. It's typical to see these tiles, and, and foreigners like myself, we appreciate, agradecemos, we appreciate the, these tiles uh, because they're very beautiful, and we don't have so much of them. We don't, well, we, we, don't, we don't have so many tiles, I should say, but we don't see tiles so often in, in Canada because we don't have them. Mm. We don't see them as often. But I like them. They're beautiful. Tile, tile, tile. Azulejo. Or tiles, azulejos. Okay, time now for a nice bit of grammar. Un poco de gramática interesante aquí. Vamos a hablar de adjetivos posesivos. We're going to talk about possessive adjectives. Yes, possessive adjectives. In English, igual que ocurre con los adjetivos normales, los adjetivos posesivos nunca cambian. Así que my y your no varían según nos referimos a un objeto singular o plural. ¿Vale? So, my pen, my pen is mine because it's mine. Well, es mío porque es mío. It's mine because it's mine. This is my pen. This is my pen. These are my pens. This is my book. These are my books. That, si está lejos ese, that is my house. Those are my, bueno, those are my friends. That is my, no sé, that is my pencil. Those are my pencils. This is your pen. This is your pen. These are your pens. Okay. Ahora con cosas que son mías. They're not yours. They're mine, okay? They're mine. Son mías. So I'm going to ask you, is this your book or my book? Is this your book or my book? Kyle, it's your book. Sí, es que es mío. Kyle, it's your book. Is that your television or my television? It's your television, Kyle. It's your television. Is that your book? No, it isn't. Whose book is it? It's my book. It's Kyle's book. Bueno, tú vas a decir, Kyle, it's your book. Is that your dog or my dog? It's your dog, Kyle. Kyle, that's your dog. Is that my cat? Yes, it is, Kyle. It's your cat. Es tu gato. It's your cat, Kyle. It's your cat. It's not my cat. Okay, ahora con cosas que son, que son tuyos. Tuyas, disculpa. Things that are yours. Is that your book or my book? It's my book. It's my book, Kyle. It's not yours, Kyle. It's mine. It's my book. Is this my pencil or your pencil? It's my pencil, Kyle. 
It's not your pencil. No es tu lápiz, Kyle. It's not your pencil. It's my pencil. Is that your book? Yes, it is. It's my book. Don't touch it, Kyle. Don't touch my book. It's my book, not yours. Is this my lighter or your lighter? It's my lighter, Kyle. Don't touch it. No lo toques. Es mío. It's mine. It's my lighter. Is that your dog or my dog? It's my dog, Kyle. It's not your dog. Is that my cat? No, it isn't. It's not your cat, Kyle. It's my cat. Okay. Bueno, estoy con mis conversaciones con yo mismo aquí, pero bueno. Y si entiendes, mine and yours, si es plural o, sing o, o singular, da igual. My, my house, my houses, my pen, my pens. Okay. This is your pen. These are your pens. So my for singular. And, well, my, si es mío. And your, tuyo. Singular or plural, da igual. Okay, this is my book. These are my books. This is your pen. These are your pens. Those are your pens. Okay, no problem. Very easy. Muy fácil, no? Very easy. Vocabulary of the day. Okay, yes, it's time now for the vocabulary of the day. Ahora vamos a ver nuestros cinco palabras de vocabulario para hoy. ¿Cómo se dice en inglés? Otro. Another. 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 Give me another one. Dame otro vaso de agua. Give me another. Que tenemos el artículo an. Que está an other. The article. To an other. Es como un otro. Another. Other. I like... Well, I speak English. The people here speak English. The other people. La otra gente. The other people speak Spanish. I speak English. Alberto and I, we speak English. The other people speak Spanish. Okay? Another is como uno más. I had one piece of, piece of pizza and I was still hungry. Can I have another piece of pizza? Dame otro, por favor. ¿Puedo tomar otro? Can I have another one? Another. Okay? Another. So, other or another. Another is como la idea de, del artículo como un otro, pero digáis en español otro. Otro, uh, another. Okay? Arte. Art. Art. I like art. Edificio. Building. Building. Pero... But, 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 pero, it's good, it's good, but I don't know if I would recommend it. Mm. It's a good restaurant, but I wouldn't recommend it for everyone. Mm. Iglesia, church, church, church. They go to church on Sundays. Church, Iglesia, church. Okay, now we can practice with numbers. I love numbers. Me encantan los números. They're great, aren't they? Numbers. Practicing with numbers. Ya hemos visto los números hasta 100. Y podemos practicar hoy los números de 100 hasta, bueno, hasta 1000, ¿no? Sí, porque no es, no es, no es difícil. Cuando, cuando sabemos cómo pronunciar los, los números, son muy fáciles. There are a few rules. There are only a few rules. Once we understand these rules, uh, the numbers become very easy. So, what I want you to remember today is after 100, we say the word and. 100 and. Repeat. Repeat after me. I'm going to say this five times. 100 and. 100 and. 100 and. 100 and. 100 and. Muy, porque es muy, muy importante. One hundred and twenty-three dollars. Two hundred and twenty-five. Six hundred and fifty-seven. Es siempre igual. Mm, hundred and... Mm, mm. Mm, hundred and... Mm, mm. Muy fácil. Es muy fácil. 
Let's count from 100 to 120. Okay? 100. Conmigo. En voz alta. 100. 101. 102. 103. 104. 105. 106. 107. 108. 109. 110. 111. 112. 113. 114. 115. 116. 117. 118. 119. 120. Eso es. 120. Okay, very good. Very good. So now I can dictate some numbers to you. Get out a pen. Saca tu, tu bolígrafo. Y un poco de papel. A pen and paper. And write these down, okay? Are you ready? Te voy a decir cinco números. I'm going to read five numbers. 287. 153. 569. 212. 714. Very good. Did you get them all? Did you get the numbers right? Are you sure? What was the first number? The first number? 287. Very good. And the second number? 153. And the third number? 569. Very good. Muy bien. And the fourth number? The fourth number was 212. And the final number? 714. Muy bien. Very good. 714. Excellent. Okay, we are completely out of time. Nos hemos quedado sin tiempo. Time flies when you're having fun. Right? <laughs> My... Time flies when you're having fun. It's true. Thank you for listening. I will be back tomorrow. I will see you soon. Keep listening. Keep listening to Balgan Radio. Keep listening. Listen to the intermediate class now. It will help you, okay? See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>